All right. So we are now entering the buy. And uh, could not come at a better time, to be quite honest with you. It is an early buy in terms of uh, the whole general outlook of the season. But for us specifically, um, the buy week could not have come at a better time. We have been ravaged, and I mean ravaged, with injuries up and down this team. Okay? It is... I, I really don't know what it could be, but uh, we just we just got a little bit of bad luck in that department for this year. It's all good. Um, is what it is. They're just going to have to kind of get over it and try to figure it out. And uh, the good news with that is that some of the guys should be should be coming back soon. And we're going to talk about that here in a second about who could come back after our bye week uh so but first i wanted to uh just uh talk about this a little bit we went ahead and signed a offensive tackle ty neshke um hopefully i'm pronouncing that right and we have released tuck Mc mckinley so this is a uh, this is the guy right here he's big big uh big man big man right here and Signed veteran offensive tackle Ty Neshke off the Colts practice squad, and we put him on our active roster. And in order to make room for him, we released our edge rusher Tack McKinley, uh, who we signed last month, and who, um, you know, quite frankly, I I really haven't noticed him too much. Uh, to be fair to him, he he's only like I just said, he's only been here a month, so it's not like. Not like he could have uh, done a whole lot for us anyway, but hey, you know, we need the O-line depth, so um, he will probably be backing up Alaric Jackson, who um, quite I actually think will play quite well. I think he'll play the left tackle position quite well. Um, he will be moving from guard to tackle because Joe Noteboom is now on injured reserve. He is on injured reserve, um, and he's out for the year because he tore his Achilles, which we have another offensive lineman going down for the year, and that's just the way it goes sometimes. So he's gone, and Alaric Jackson should be moving to left tackle. I'm actually pretty excited about it because last year during the Baltimore game, last year we ran the heavy sets because we had the personnel. We really don't have the personnel to be doing heavy sets right now anyway. But when we ran the heavy sets, Alaric Jackson was like the extra O-lineman they brought in. Because I actually think Whitworth, Whitworth was hurt that game. So it was no boom and then Jackson. And he played well. So I feel like he'll probably play tackle better than guard. It is uh, his natural position. And um, I'm actually quite excited, and, and if he can, and he and if he can make a statement here, I'm, I'm willing to keep him there as the new starter, um, if he if he's able to perform, because I I just yeah it's it's hard for me to ex guys guys it's hard for me to explain sometimes, but there are certain players or certain positions, sometimes I just have a good feeling. The, do you understand what I mean? Like sometimes I just have a good feeling about certain things. Uh, well, in life in general, but in specifically the Rams, this football team. I've been watching this team a long time. Okay, uh, I'm a big Rams fan, as you all know, and uh, I try to learn as much as I can about the players, about the scheme, about how they operate, and who plays the best where. And it is, in my opinion. That Alaric Jackson can play tackle much better than guard. I think he will be more comfortable. And there's a chance he could supplant Joe Nopum as the starter. But that's way too early to say that. He's definitely going to be the tackle for the remainder of this season. And I very much look forward to seeing him play it. And uh, sorry to Joe Nopum. I do like Joe Nopum. I do. 
but um, he's out for the year, and I do hope he gets better soon. Um, Grant Haley also uh, will miss four four games with an ACL sprain. That is unfortunate as well. And yeah, so that's that's what's going on with that. So Neshki here will probably need some time to get up to speed. He will be uh, backing up Alaric Jackson, so don't expect to see too much of him at least right now. Um, if we get person, if we, if we get the personnel back, like I would really like to see us go back to the heavy personnel. I really think we hit our stride when we started to do that post November uh, of of last year, and I feel like if we get the personnel back, we should go back to that. But we 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 don't have the personnel for that at this moment so and if we do Ty here could be used uh in that in that formation so ty is going to use this opportunity to learn the playbook learn the schemes learn his uh his duties his assignment and he will be backing up and lord willing lord willing he won't see any real action because alaric jackson knock on wood i'm gonna I don't know if y'all can hear that, but I'm knocked on my table. No more injuries. Lord's sake. Lord, man. All these damn injuries. But let's uh let's let's go ahead and kind of transition to that. And uh kind of kind of let, let's see a little bit of an update and who's coming back and who's still out. Because this can be there, there's a lot of moving parts right now, and Thank goodness we're on a bye week. People get a chance to get healthy, and we will be getting a good hand f handful of people back. So, and uh, obviously we're gonna still have some people out. But let's go ahead and kind of kind of talk about it a little bit here. So, returning in week eight, this came out of Sean McVay's mouth during a presser press conference. Uh, those are very informative, and those are very fun to watch if uh, I recommend you watch them if um, if you would like Sean is someone who I very much respect uh, due to partially to the fact that he is quite forward uh, and honest as much as you can be with the media you know it, obviously he cannot tell everything I do not expect Sean to tell us every little secret every little dirty secret going on in the building that is just unrealistic you know and uh but for the most part he's he's quite forward and uh you know as a fan of the team it, it's it's quite it's it, it's it's something i appreciate so thank you sean thank you and out of sean's mouth out of Sean's mouth. Let's go ahead and close that there. Uh, Sean said that Dur Kobe Durant, Troy Hill, Brian Allen, and Van Jefferson will be back, which is excellent news. Uh, they should all step in as starters right away. Troy Hill, uh, our cornerback Troy Hill, center Brian Allen, and uh, wide receiver Van Jefferson should uh, come in. While Durant may also have a chance to start if he can unseat Darion Kendrick, that is, I'm not sure what to think about that. I, I like both. I would like to have both on the field or like kind of interchange, interchange them out so they can spell each other some rests. But if they can find a way to uh, kind of rotate, rotate is the word I'm looking for. It's been a long, it's been a long day, y'all. So rotate. Uh, rotate both of them so, so they can both get some viable playing time, that would be ideal. Durant missed four games with a hamstring injury, as y'all know. Uh, Brian Allen missed five games with a knee injury. Jefferson has yet to play because uh, since having knee surgery uh, prior to the season, and Troy Hill's been out since he injured his groin in week two. Not a fun place to be but they're all coming back and we welcome them with open open arms even brian even brian and i and i like brian i do i have crapped on brian for quite a long time but he 
I tell you what, I am happy to see him come back, let me tell you. So, welcome back, Brian. Welcome back, everybody. Let's uh, let's get you back, get you ready for the 49ers, because Lord have mercy, we could use all of you. So, let's go ahead and kind of move on to nearing a return, Kyrene Williams. This is something I'm very excited about. Uh, Sean didn't say that Williams would be activated from injured reserve after the bye, but he did say the team can start having the conversation of designating him to return soon. After he's designated to return, he'll have 21 days to practice and eventually be activated. So once he's designated to return, once once that's been once that starts, once they say they start that, he has 21 days to practice and then he can be activated again. So uh, very much looking forward to Kyrene Williams. It's un because uh, uh, you know all I keep hearing is how good he is. So I'm very very like I'm I'm on the hype train for Kyrene Williams. So I really really hope he doesn't disappoint. I really do, um, because from what little I've seen on the highlights, he looks he looks damn good. So very excited. It is really not a good sign that he's had these two injuries right away. Uh, in the off season before he's even played a game uh, with his foot, and uh, someone who, as someone who has foot problems himself, I can tell you that those are uh, difficult to get over, and they happen. And, and once you have an issue, they tend to they they tend to happen a lot, you know, like over the course of your life. So hopefully, with him having the best. Uh, medical care at the Rams facility. Hopefully, his foot is all better, and uh, we can get him in there because very we very much need we very much need to kickstart this running game because our running game has been terrible, terrible as of late. Daryl Henderson did a little better last week, but overall, it's been terrible. So, so uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, very excited to get him back. But moving on. Uh, people who are out for a few more weeks, David Edwards, uh, our starting guard, David Edwards, Jordan Fuller, and Coleman Shelton, who... Well, well I'll, I'll get to my thoughts on that in a second, but our center slash guard, Col Coleman Shelton. Edwards was placed on injured reserve on October 11th after suffering his second concussion of the season, so his timeline to return is unclear. At the very least, he'll need to miss three more games while on IR. Okay, so he's definitely going to miss three more games um, uh, Well, because he's on IR now. And uh, concussions are a bit tricky, so... They got to be careful with him. Hopefully, he's doing all right. And, uh, you know, just when you're ready, just come on back, David. So, but we'll be without him for a while. So, I guess it's going to have to be, Lord have mercy, who do we have in there now? So, they just been rotating all over the place. Uh, Jordan Fuller was on IR just before week five. So, he's only missed two of the four games he's required to sit out. Uh, he's dealing with a hamstring injury, so he'll be out uh, for at least two more weeks. Uh, hopefully, we can get him better. I am a fan of Jordan Fuller. Hopefully, he can come back and be ready to go. Uh, a lot of these dudes have hamstring injuries. I don't. I don't know what the deal with that is. I, I'm not sure. Hopefully, y'all are stretching, but um, expect him to be gone at least two more games. Uh, Coleman Shelton, this I, I really want him to come back, was put on IR the same day as Fuller, and he injured his ankle ankle injury, and his timetable to return was set to four to six weeks. So he won't be back for at least two more weeks following the bye. So he's 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 still gonna be gone for a little bit. He's still gonna be gone for a little bit. Um, unknown, Quinton Lake. Our safety from our rookie safety from UCLA, Daniel Hardy, a edge rusher who um, 
I'm actually very excited about. And Travian Howard, our linebacker three. And there has been no update on these three players. None of them have played a single snap this season. And there's no sign of them returning soon. It's really just a wait and see mode right now. And there's no guarantee any of them will be activated this season. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Um, Quinton Lake, I just I don't know very much about him. He, unfortunately, has been injured since the very beginning. Uh, but he's real. He's he was having he was good from what I heard. Uh, Travian Howard, as you all know, he's a very very good, uh, serviceable backup linebacker, uh, and uh, he was crucial. He actually got that uh, interception that won us the NFC Championship game against the 49ers. So I'm a, I'm a fan of Travion. I hope he, I really want him to come back. And Daniel Hardy, dude, I if y'all haven't. Try to go on YouTube and uh, this YouTube Rams Revealed with JB Long. I uh, I'm a fan of that show. I, I watch that show. That's they. It's very interesting. Basically, uh, JB Long interviews some of the Rams players, um, like some of the um, like the rookies and whatnot too. And uh, he had a pretty good one with Daniel Hardy, where they talk about like 20 minutes about like his background and. Um, just what he's about, and I was very impressed with Daniel. He seemed very well spoken, very intelligent, uh, and he's an athlete. He was like a basketball player um, before he got into football. So I love, love, love these multi-sport athletes. They generally transition to football, the sport of football, very, very well. And uh, as a as a team that is in desperate need of some pass rush pressure from anybody other than Aaron Donald, um, I would very much like to see Daniel Hardy get into the rotation once he is healthy. So uh, I recommend y'all check that out. It was a good interview. And um, looks like we just, th there's no timetable for when he'll get back. So we'll just have to kind of wait and see. But that's pretty much it for now. Um, this is the bye week. Rest up. Everybody can rest up. We can all watch the games uh, stress-free. And hopefully they get themselves together, get some people back, get ready for 49ers week the following week. And uh, let's get back on track. So that's going to be it. Rest up, boys. And I will catch you guys on the next one. And as always, go Rams.